If you've ever wondered what the blue economy is and why it's so important, then this video is for you. Welcome to Simply Economics. Please help our team. Subscribe to this channel so we can produce more amazing videos just for you. Hit the notification bell too. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the most exciting new economic concept, the blue economy. You'll learn what the blue economy is, why it's so important, and some of the major players that are leading the way. So let's get started. The traditional approach to ocean economies focused on resource exploitation without considering environmental impact. The blue economy presents a comprehensive perspective on achieving sustainable growth by integrating well-being, equity, and stewardship. It aligns harmoniously with the principles of the green economy, fostering a balanced and responsible approach to economic development. So, what is the blue economy? The blue economy, also known as the ocean economy, refers to the range of economic activities associated with the oceans and seas. According to the World Bank, the blue economy entails the sustainable utilization of ocean resources to promote economic growth, support livelihoods, and ensure the health of ocean ecosystems. Key components of the blue economy include maritime shipping, fishing and aquaculture, coastal tourism, renewable energy, water desalination, undersea cabling, seabed extractive industries and deep sea mining, marine genetic resources, and biotechnology. What is the role of the oceans in fostering sustainable development? There is a dedicated Sustainable Development Goal for Oceans, SDG 14, Life Below Water, which aims to protect and sustainably utilize our oceans, seas, and marine resources. This goal outlines seven targets to achieve a sustainable ocean economy by 2030. However, progress towards these targets has been limited thus far. While there have been some modest improvements in the sustainability of fisheries and the establishment of marine protected areas, these efforts only cover approximately 7.5% of the world's oceans. What is the governing mechanism for the oceans? Managing the ocean and the blue economy is a complex and formidable undertaking, often resulting in fragmented approaches to sharing resources and limited comprehension of environmental impacts. Exclusive Economic Zones, or EEZs, which encompass territorial waters, archipelagos, and a 200 nautical mile extension from coastlines, are subject to ocean-related regulations. The remaining vast expanse, known as the high seas or open ocean, accounts for 64% of the world's oceans. What are the potential climate benefits of taking action on the oceans? The oceans play a crucial role in regulating Earth's temperature, absorbing carbon dioxide, and supporting biodiversity and livelihoods. However, the true impact of the blue economy on climate change is only just beginning to be recognized. The ocean economy has the potential to contribute 21% of the greenhouse gas emission reductions needed to achieve the Paris Agreement's target of limiting global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees centigrade by 2050, as per the high-level panel for a sustainable ocean economy. Moreover, sustainable food production from the oceans, known as blue food, such as fisheries, seaweed, fish aquaculture, and mariculture, could meet the increasing demands of the global population while relieving pressure on land-based food systems. Moreover, there are positive climate benefits to be gained through ocean finance or blue finance, which involves the financial tools and investment necessary to achieve a sustainable ocean economy. It is estimated that for every $1 invested in ocean action, $5 in benefits could be generated. Milestones in International Ocean Governance and Conservation Efforts In March 2023, a historic agreement was achieved at the United Nations for a High Seas Treaty. The primary objective of this treaty is to designate 30% of the world's oceans as marine protected areas to safeguard wildlife and ensure equitable access to marine genetic resources. Moreover, it entails increased financial resources for marine conservation and introduces new regulations for deep-sea mining. Similar to the Climate and Biodiversity Conference of Parties, the treaty will establish a dedicated Conference of the Parties for Oceans. Several international agreements impact the blue economy and ocean governance. The United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, or UNCLOS, provides the legal framework for activities in oceans and seas. The Port States Measures Agreement focuses on combating illegal fishing through effective port state management. Guidelines for small-scale fisheries and IMO 2023 regulations for global shipping also contribute to ocean governance. A thriving global force with growing potential. The blue economy has a global estimated worth of over $1.5 trillion per year. It plays a crucial role in providing more than 30 million jobs and serving as a vital source of protein for over 3 billion people. 
While the focus has recently shifted towards the green economy and its land-based activities in the transition to a low-carbon future, there is a renewed interest in the blue economy, also known as blue growth. In fact, the OECD predicts that the ocean economy may double in size to $3 trillion by 2030. Governments and companies are recognizing the growing importance of harnessing the power of the oceans to combat climate change. They are investing more than ever in nature-based solutions that offer a multitude of benefits. Leveraging the potential of our oceans, we can achieve a sustainable future through carbon sequestration, coastal protection, biodiversity conservation, and waste management. Preserving their natural beauty and resources is key. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future content. We truly appreciate your support. See you in the next one.